five, six years old. I, I, there are only a few things I can remember. And uh, I remember my father uh, farming, irrigating artichokes on top of the hill. My grandmother actually knit me a red sweater because I'd go out into the yard and I'd be running all over the place. I'd be in the chicken coop or in the rabbits. Or, uh, there used to be a creek that flowed underneath one of the uh, farm labor housings that I'd always be under there, you know, in the creek. When he was in Europe, they had to leave because they said, uh, didn't have no work. And they were very, very poor. My parents coming over because in Italy, after World War my father says, he, he couldn't get enough, make enough money to eat. And they said, they said, California was a place to go. Our main crop is uh, Brussels sprouts. That's our main. Uh, cash crop, and that's pretty much what makes makes the company go one way or the other. So, it's a uh, uh, you know a high risk crop. It's a lot of money invested, and, there, and there's a, a lot to, lot to go wrong with it too. But uh, you know we've got a lot of experience, and we have seen quite a bit. So so we managed to get through it pretty good. So it's about 150 acres on the Brussels sprouts, and then uh, the balance the uh, the entire ranch is 200 acres. So the balance uh, 50 acres is. Uh, uh, cut up between uh, English peas, fava beans, artichokes, and a few pumpkins. And so there, there's decent markets for, the, for those two, and it helps keep uh, our uh, workers working, you know, a little bit more on a year-round basis. My grandfather and my father were always very good farmers, and we managed to work real hard and get through the tough years. I, th I think that's very important because it's not that easy all the time. And so uh, we've been very conservative as far as being farmers. And when we have a good year, we save our money for the tough years too. So we've managed to uh, hang in there a lot longer than maybe some of the other farmers in the area. Yeah, I looked at another field. Uh, they're, they're better in another, another spot. I could move over there and pick some if you need some from there. Okay. All right, yeah, let, let me know. Otherwise. My father was earning a dollar a day, you know. In those days, you know, oh, you got a dollar a day, but you did get board and room. You know, and that was a big item. My mother, she was a cook, uh, I don't know, about 10, 15 workers. You know, they were all single people. And she did the cooking, and instead of my father making one dollar, my mother being one dollar, it's two dollars a day. That was a uh, pretty good uh, pretty good money in those days. Probably 10, 15 years ago, the majority of our product went to the frozen food industry, to Green Giant down in the Watsonville, they got frozen. But uh, we've pretty much transitioned over to the fresh market now, and that's the way uh, the consumer ha has pushed it too. And the medical industry has come out and said, you know, you need to eat uh, fresh. I think that's, that's helped quite a bit. And I think with refrigeration and, and different varieties, now we're able to grow product uh, more year round. But we do sell quite a bit to the Bay Area uh, chain stores. And we go up to the San Francisco terminal market, the South City terminal market, the Oakland terminal market. And probably another 50% of it goes to a vegetable broker down in Santa Cruz and he distributes it throughout the United States. Actually to New York quite a bit. Here he is, I'm 89 years old, and uh, I'm getting involved in buying a farm, you know, I said, but I had, I said, I want the satisfaction of owning a piece of property. That's, that's about it. <laughs> Even though we've leased it all these years and we've been on it, I always felt it was mine and treated it like it was mine. So now I, th I think it's really going to be satisfying to really say, okay, I, I really do have it now. Everybody's very, very excited about it. You know, the workers are too. They're, they're glad, you know, that, uh, you know, we're, we're buying it. And uh, same with my family. And I was really surprised with my uh, uh, wife and my two daughters. They're, they're very, very in encouraging. Maybe myself, I was a little bit on the nervous side because, you know, I'm certainly the one out here and I have to work the ground and make sure I get the payments in and what have you. But they're, no, no, you gotta, you gotta do this, Dad, you gotta do it. So, and th and their their goal is to keep it in the family even down the road. If things are better now to own land than it was here, uh, here on the coast, I see last 20, 30 years ago. Uh, look like agriculture is more acceptable to now. It'll, it'll, and if, at farmer, you looked up a little bit now. Post has been a very good landlord to me, you know, ever, ever since they purchased the property. But it's been a complicated transaction, that's for sure. But I think Post has tried very hard to uh, make sure all the, the 
needs that I need on this on this farm are uh, they, that they've accommodated for it. So I, I've got to say they worked real hard. I think it's been a good transaction, and I'm, I'm very pleased pleased with it. That's for sure. But I'm very proud to say that for the first time in four generations, the name is now Leia on the title and will be. So congratulations. And then Post, I gotta give them credit, they made a big change here on the coast. I mean, whether they saved the industry or not, but uh, they made it for people that don't own a piece of land. That, uh, that they would probably stay in agriculture for years. But I think that the reason is, uh, Land, farming land's getting scarce. So I'll send you 50 then, okay? All right. No, no, I hear you. No. Y'all in the store? Yeah, but on, on the street, you'll be able to move a few, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.